is right up his alley. This could bring those fans who are opposed to James Gunn's vision to come and enjoy what the DCU will have to offer. What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jet Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, I had this conversation with uh, Tracy some time ago, but he mentioned it in passing. I think we were texting, and he said he mentioned Zack Snyder and the authority. I didn't really make the connection until I was on the train coming back home, and I was like, you know what? This is right up his alley. And that's when I made the connection. That's what Tracy was referring to. The possibility of Zack Snyder coming back to the DCU now is very interesting, Brian. This is this is right up his alley. This could bring those fans who are opposed to James Gunn's vision to come and enjoy what the DCU will have to offer. Brian, what are your thoughts on this possibility, and is it a good idea? Would and do you think Zack Snyder, even though he says what he says now, you'll you'll quote him in a few. Is there a possibility of that happening? Your thoughts? In a word, no. Okay. I completely I completely disagree with this okay. line of thinking, um, and I, and I'll I'll tell you why. But let's start with the quote, which got everyone talking, because obviously there's been a large fallout from the dcu fan base and the schism that you would expect which is the zack snyder verse legion of devotee devotees have been you know going scorched earth on the gun on the gun verse and have been demanding that netflix kind of buy some form of rights that i don't really know what that would be to allow zack to finish justice league two and three and carry forward the cast that he had and so gun finally weighed in on this directly and here's his quote, which you can find on his Twitter feed, but also Variety has an article on it. Quote, I have to say this is this, meaning the, the, the report of the, the Snyderverse going to Netflix. That's what he's referring to. Has got to be the wackiest hashtag ever. Number one, Netflix hasn't expressed any interest, although we've discussed other stuff. And two, Zach hasn't expressed any interest and seems to be happy what, what doing what he's doing. And yes, we too have talked. He contacted me to express his support about my choices, Gunn added. He's a great guy. Again, he seems really happy with the massive world building he's doing now, end quote. Uh, before I give my opinion, I just want to throw it back to you. Do you buy that? Do you think that that gun statement is a statement of fact or is there layers to it? I think there's certainly layers Brian, um, obviously the relationship between Zack Snyder and WB, regardless, regardless of who's there now, um, still, you know, brings up bad memories and feelings. And I'm sure Zack Snyder is certainly enjoying what he's doing and the world building he's doing over there at Netflix with Rebel Moon. But I would not put it past James Gunn slowly introducing that idea. Probably he already introduced it and... Who knows, Brian? This could be huge. If you, Brian, love Watchmen as much as I did, this is just a home run. And it just makes this event or this DCU much, much bigger. And uh, I think it's, 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 a, it's a good possibility that that could happen. It's still early. So you're, just to be clear, you are making the case for Zack Snyder back to the DCU, but only as a director of the authority. Correct. what I'm inferring from what you're saying. Correct. For the reason that these are more complex, gray area, anti-hero type personalities, similar to The Watchmen. Similar to what he did with the Justice League. Except he did it with characters that it probably didn't belong <laughs> as well with. Yes. So look, I mean, I think from a purely artistic standpoint, I see your reasoning. But my opposition to this is whether how much blame you want to assign to Zach directly for what has happened here. This is kind of like the equivalent of bringing the arsonist back to the scene of the fire. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. after the house has been burned to the ground. And I just feel like, number one, there's still a lot of people inside Warner Brothers in the rank and file. So not the heads, but in the rank and file who suffered through the toxicity of yeah. the Snyderverse campaign, the release, the Snyder cut, all that. Yeah. To bring him back into the building when you are new leadership is a great way to lose and lower morale, I think, among those troops who you are trying to rally around your multi-year vision. I don't think you can politically do that and expect to survive. Number two is, I actually think you would enrage the Snyderverse fans even further by doing it this way, because they would see it as a slap in the face that you invited Zach into the building, but didn't let him touch the Justice League characters that he helped bring to life. I think those fans would actually be outraged and would actually actively oppose a Zack Snyder authority on the grounds that he was not, he was being penalized and denied the movie they really want to see, which is Justice League 2 and 3, which would then risk undermining what Gunn is trying to build with Superman Legacy and the Batman, the Brave, and the Bold. For those reasons, I just don't think it's a realistic possibility. And if they did it, I will be shocked. Yeah, those are some good reasons as well, Brian. There are people who are still working there who probably, you know, didn't go through good times during that era where, you know, fans were a bit relentless in going after these execs and the people over there at WB. And again, it's not a good feelings when you mention WB to Zack Snyder is not what he starts feeling immediately. So it would be difficult, but money talks at the end of the day. But if you're WB, do you look at, you don't look at Zack Snyder as guaranteed box office. If you did, he'd still be there. Yes, exactly, exactly. What happened with Justice League and what he did there is just, we all agree that people that didn't like the, the movie or, the, or those, uh, or that vision, Zack Snyder had it wasn't the story was it was just wasn't written well you know we've always said that he's had problems with story and it just didn't work but with these sort of characters Brian like the authority very very similar to again Watchmen and what he did there which again is one of my favorite superhero films I think it is a possibility that he may be, all I'm saying is it, he may be interested. And if he's interested, there's a possibility that they can make it work. And I get, and again, the fans follow, if Zack Snyder says, yo, it's all good. I think they, they'll think it's all good too. We'll see. I mean, I, I'm not arguing the creative point. He definitely does better when the characters are neither good nor bad. I think, I think as to me, I, I like Man of Steel more than you do. I do think it has third act problems, but I, I think it asks interesting questions. Oh, certainly. And I actually, and we we did our show, you can go back to it. We generally liked more than disliked the Snyder Cut of the Justice League, certainly a vastly superior product to what we got in the theater. So to me, it's BBS. I've always said it's BBS is where this thing went off the rails. Uh, and that was just a, a misfire. Like it was a misfire in terms of how he basically took the Dark Knight Returns and shoehorned it into what should have been, in my opinion, a more Man of Steel sequel. And that turned into a path that kind of they just never recovered from. But I do think, like I said, from the studio's perspective, that also led to when BVS petered out at the box office after an outstanding opening weekend, that also led to, you know, Zack Snyder at, at the box office is not what we thought because he had made the money with Watchmen. He had made the money with 300, which was a mega hit. Uh, and he had made the money with Man of Steel. Now, I know in Man of Steel, people look back on it. Yeah, 600. But again, in today's dollars, that's like $850 million on like a $125 million budget. Like that's a home run in the eyes yeah. of the studio. So they looked at it as a win. But it was BBS not getting to a billion and being reviled critically the way that it was. That's the movie where things turned and never recovered. Yeah. And I just, yeah, I just don't see them... Now, here's, if you want the really interesting subplot, which we do not know the answer to, but we, we asked the question, we know that 
WB is going to be working with other outlets, which is why James Gunn has that parenthetical comment about the talks he's had with Netflix have not included anything along the line of Justice League, but it implies that they have talked to Netflix about some DCIP. Okay. So the question we asked was, when they start selling this IP around to these different streamers, who is actually making it? Is it the streamer they sell it to? We was, I've assumed it was WB. It was going to be WB people who would be the creative. But what if it wasn't? What if they sold Netflix a piece of DCIP that was unmade? In which case, Netflix would have the right to have Zack Snyder make it. I don't know that that would be the authority. I would tend to doubt it. Mm -hmm. But if you're hoping to see Zack Snyder direct something DC, that's the way I could see it happening, is Netflix buys something that I do not think would be the Justice League, but that Zack Snyder probably requests internally at Netflix. Give me, get me this and yeah. I'll make it. Yeah, yeah. And that's how it would work. I just don't know if WB's intending for those relationships to be done that way. But we'll find out. Again, Brian, remember Zaslov gave James Gunn the reign. He has the money. Go make go go build his empire. You know what I'm saying? Go go give me what MCU got. And if James Gunn wants it, I don't know. And he's it's seemingly James Gunn is doing what he wants, Brian. This is his this is Kevin Feige in the candy land doing whatever he wants, Brian. That's fair. But that's the only way I could see it because, like I said, if you if you sell it unmade, and Netflix, Zach, make it over there with Netflix people and a production crew, you thereby avoid the toxicity inside WB coming becoming an issue. And that's the only way I can okay. see that working. Okay. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of that idea. Of Zach Snyder doing the authority. I think is a. I think is again. A home run. Tracy was right, uh, and and he certainly got me believing that this could possibly happen. And Brian, you're right as well. If it's within the WB world and Zach having to go there and do and work with those individuals, then certainly it, it is certainly not going to be a great idea. But if Zach can get the the authority over to Netflix and work something out. That that certainly seems like a viral plan as well. I was to nom actually I, I so I actually have a slightly different one. Um, although I agree with you creatively, it hasn't been breached. It hasn't been the topic hasn't been breached. But honestly, he wanted to do it in BVS. I almost would say like as an Elseworlds project, sell him the Dark Knight Returns and say actually make the story you and you wanted to make. Like you clearly wanted to make it in BVS and you were kind of force feeding it into a Superman story that didn't work mm -hmm. but you love he loves Frank Miller I mean Frank Miller's his favorite you know, kind of graphic artist and if you really want that story which he he has talked about Zach talked about wanting to make Dark Knight Returns before he left WB sell that to Netflix and have him do that if that's his passion project I will watch that under the Netflix banner just to see if he can improve and fix some of the issues we saw in BVS when you're not constrained by it being a Superman centric story when Zack Snyder has followed the comic book, he has had great success. Success. Great. When he did 300 and the Watchmen, although in the Watchmen he changed a few things, but it didn't bother a lot of people. Um, and and and, it, and there were great movies. Is when he starts writing his own thing. Is when we fall into issues. But let's see. Um, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of of this possibility. Um, we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. There's a new sheriff in town.